can see the Italians are uh, getting in position to repel the beach landing. As you can see right here, right just in front of you are, are the British 8th Army disembarking from the duck. And the Americans are on the left flank, the British are on the right flank. British and Americans are taking up beach, beach positions on the beach behind the wall or the sand, sand berm. What we have out here are a number of different weapons. The Americans are work using the M1 Garand. It's an eight-shot, eight clip-fed, semi-automatic rifle. General Patton said that was the best implement of during, during World War II. That's a standard issue for an American GI. Uh, the British would be using bolt-action rifles to be the infield. Also, they use a, what's also called a brain gun for their uh, heavy machine gun. And also, uh, you can see some of the British are coming in with uh, a mortar. Also, what the, the Americans would use, other standard weapons for the American uh, infantrymen, would be the M1 carbine. It's a 15-clip uh, semi-automatic weapon. Uh, a lot of the officers use those, or they use those in the rear echelon. Uh, the other thing, weapon that uh, the Americans used during World War II was a Thompson submachine gun. Uh, there was a 1928 Thompson submachine gun and the M1A1. Uh, the 1928 was more prevalent in the Pacific than it was in uh, the European theater. So they used uh, the second model, the M1A1, which the one gentleman just popped up and, and fired, which uh, would fire 650 rounds per minute, 45 caliber ACP. Also in front of the, 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 the American force, those uh, obstacles out there are called hedgehogs. Those were more prevalent in uh, the beach landings in Normandy than in the, uh, the Italian campaign. 